Hey there, welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, deposits versus withdrawals. Deposits versus withdrawals. Folks, if you don't like what you're getting right now, and I've certainly been on that end, in fact, very early and throughout much of my life, that was the case. I didn't like what I was getting. What I needed to do was take a look at what I was giving. It's all about your giving. If you don't like what you're getting, then take a look at what you're giving. If people are mean and nasty and don't go out of their way for you, well, maybe it's because you're not going out of your way and being nice and considerate of people. That's the way it works. It's just like the bank. Think about it. When you go and deposit money in the bank and go to withdraw, as long as the amount of money that you put in there was equal to the or less than the amount that you want to withdraw, the bank will give you the money. But if you try to withdraw more than what is in that bank, what will happen? Exactly. They're not going to give it to you. And so I often see people looking to reap where they haven't sown. I see people in their careers, they're expecting their careers to explode and take off, and yet they're holding back. They're not willing to give. They're not willing to make a lot of deposits. I learned this very early, and I continue to learn it. This works whether you're in relationships, your friendships, your work relationships. Everywhere in life that you look, your getting is based on your giving. The more you give, the more deposits you make in life, the more you're able to withdraw. You know, I recently was in a situation where I took on uh, a partner in my business. And while I was in the process of making the arrangements for the buy-in, I called a very dear friend of mine and he suggested to me that instead of charging this person anything that I charge him nothing. Now, you can imagine, we're, we're talking close to a seven-figure number, how you might have felt if, if that were you. A friend is recommending that instead of taking a seven-figure buy-in, that you charge him nothing. And then I listened to him. And by the way, this happened to be a, a, a guy who was so much more successful than I am. So what did I do? I listened. And I made that deposit. And I believe that in doing so, the partner, the individual that I took in, feels tremendously indebted because I made that huge deposit. And I asked him, all I want you to do now is to be generous with others the same way that I've been with you. And so what are you waiting for? Make those deposits. And then you'll be able to make those withdrawals bigger than you could ever imagine. You know how to do it now, gang, so don't give yourself any excuses. If you don't like what you're getting, then take a look at what you're giving. You know, I'm very big on taking care of those who serve me, especially waiters and waitresses and people who serve me. I've always been generous with them. Let's face it, they got my food in their hands. Who knows what they would do with my food before it came out if I wasn't kind and considerate and, and generous with them. And so get about it. Take massive action today and really get about it. Make more deposits in your relationships, in your business, in your career, and watch and see there'll be plenty of money in that bank account for you to withdraw when it comes time. In fact, you'll be shocked as to how much you can withdraw if you make more deposits than you do withdrawals. Make it a great day, gang. Thanks for being in the locker room, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the Daily Message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.